We are facing a demographic challenge. We have a population that is aging. We are uh, healthier, live longer lives. But at the same time, fertility rates are not that high. And this means that our labor force is shrinking. Yes, this project is called uh, Baltic Sea Labor Forum for Sustainable Working Life, where we have people from all over the region, all the Baltic countries, the Nordic countries, Poland, Russia and Belarus, who have met to share and discuss different national contexts, how, what are their specific challenges, but also how we could work together. We are living in a globalized world. We are depending on each other. We are interlinked in so many different ways, economically and socially, uh, in the region, which means that if we work together, we become stronger. So when it comes to these issues of, of social development, economic development, the labor market, uh, we have to work together. Also because if you look at the labor market, we have a great deal of mobility there. People uh, travel across borders to work. For us to really achieve improvements in these areas in terms of prolonging working life, for example, we need to work together. We need to come up with common strategies. And this project looks at both levels. We look at the macro level, we link it to the EU strategy for the Baltic Sea region. But of course, we also need, we see that we also need to tailor our recommendations to specific national needs. So we're looking basically at sustainable working life. And with this, we mean that we actually uh, can prolong working life through uh, looking at working conditions. How do we work? Uh, health issues. Uh, we're also looking at actually um, the older workers, uh, age 55 plus, um, um, linking um, lifelong learning, that is access to skills and training all through your, your working life, and also to age management, which is a kind of uh, human resources um, practice that focuses on, on providing the right uh, environment also for people who are a bit older in the working place. But we also have to remember here that we're looking at all of us. It's an intergenerational aspect we're looking at here, because if we want to prolong working life, we have to already think about younger people and people of all ages that are working and how to make work more pleasant. One very important aspect of this project is that we are integrating something called the horizontal principles as this is a project that is funded by the European Social Fund, it is very important that we include uh, analysis of how gender aspects uh, are included in our project. And we're also to talk about uh, non-discrimination and accessibility. And these are all really important questions when we talk about an aging workforce. For example, our policy brief, we're talking about um, anti-discrimination, uh, age discrimination, how do we tackle that? We also talk about women's special situation and how they face slightly different challenges than men very often in the, in the labor market. Well, these policy briefs, it's a series of policy briefs that will tackle all of these questions that are relevant for our project. Tackling different aspects related to this uh, question of how we can prolong working life through lifelong learning and active aging. <laughs>